Hey everybody, we have just finished our newest conversion. This is our signature model, the nomadic model, so it comes with an indoor shower. This build was converted on the Ford Transit 2023 148 extended body. On the outside, you have all the usual equipment, two solar panels, the Fiamma awning, the outdoor outlet, the shore power, the city water, the grey water tank. This van comes with a 12 volt AC, so it can run all night on the batteries. As we head inside, let's have a look at our newest outdoor flip down table. That gives you plenty of space if you want to cook outside or for summer cocktails. Let's start with the adjustable flipper countertop. A lot of you have been asking, we are working on developing a new model that would actually drop down a lot lower than this model. It will be available on our new DIY website in the next few months. We love this feature, this adjustable flip-up countertop because from the swivel seat on the passenger side, it gives you one extra seat with one extra table to either eat or work and that really opens the space in your van. Like I said, on our nomadic model, this is the usual toilet shower combo. So the, here the shower comes with a self-cleaning shower door, a water-saving magnet Nubia shower head, and the separate hybrid toilets. A lot of you have been asking and were concerned about the smell. So these separate toilets have a fan built in and are always vented to the outside. The fan is always connected to the DC power. They also open when you sit on it to really limitate the smell inside your van. In the kitchen area, let's start by talking about the countertop. The client went with a full bamboo countertop. Uh, the countertops is something that we can fully customize depending on your preferences, whether you want a laminate or a different type of butcher block. You have the usual 15 by 15 sink with cutting board. We like using this rotating water faucet for a few reasons, especially with uh, summer coming. If you're at the beach and you want to rinse off your feet or you want to rinse off your dog before getting inside your van to avoid bringing dirt inside because it does get dirty very quickly in the van. Under the sink we have the usual pull-out trash can with storage for the induction stove and the fire extinguisher. On the passenger side you have three large drawers. The last one has uh, a mini oven. You get the usual outlets, switches, 12 volt outlet, air heater digital control, water gauge and EcoFlow electric monitor with a nice white stone hexagon backsplash. On the driver's side we get the usual combo fridge freezer with more countertop space, more outlets which is another 12 volt car outlet and more hexagon backsplash. Coming back to the fridge we get a lot of comments on Instagram people think that this is a dishwasher this is not a dishwasher, this is a Nithotherm 130 um, fridge with freezer combo model. It just opens like a dishwasher. It is a drawer model. We like to use that better because it's more efficient with space. It's easier to open in a small space and it helps keeping everything low so nothing falls out the door when you open the door of a regular fridge. By the ceiling area you get two full benches with deep storage. Under the bed you get a bamboo pull-out table to it. Access to the garage through the bed wall door right here. Note that this bed is a little bit higher than what we usually do. It's because the clients wanted to be able to fit two e-bikes under the bed. Uh, for the upper cabinets on the passenger side you get the upper cabinets from the back doors to the sliding doors plus two on the driver's side above the countertop and the bench. We never install upper cabinets above the bed uh, where you put your head because it becomes really uncomfortable if you want to sit. You get two USB charger on the, um, the bed lights and a full outlet USB, USB-C on the passenger side of the bed. Let's go to the back and have a look at the garage area. In the back we can see that the clients decided to go with the magnetic bug wall from uh, the bug screen I mean from the bug wall. You also have it on the sliding door. On the driver's side you get the dimmer switch for the garage light, the gravity field, the water panel, the outdoor shower with the shower mat and the shower curtain string. 
In the middle you get a pull-out drawer, a heavy-duty pull-out drawer for the two heavy-duty e-bikes. We added hooks on these pull-out drawers so they can add bungee ropes to attach the bikes or whatever they want to put on the garage uh, pull-out drawer. So the clients really wanted us to be able to fit the two e-bikes under the bed. So we had to raise the bed a little bit and we had to customize the usual electrical section that we do. So we had to remove the wall for the electrical section and keep it open to allow the extra space to put the, the two e-bikes. But everything is the same on the electrical section. You get the 500 EcoFlow amp, 500 amp hour battery with the inverter charger and the distribution panel with by the side the back of the bed the awning crank for the awning. So this van is a nomadic model, but our clients are big wine enthusiasts. So behind the shower, between the shower and the driver's seat, we've decided to make them their own custom wine cellar. High, high expectations and it exceeded it. It still feels too pretty I mean, to live in. We booked a campground like 30 minutes from here yep. for, the, for the first couple <laughs> nights. <laughs> We might be rolling back in tomorrow with a list of questions. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Yeah. <laughs>